Welcome to Starline 2, Episode 14, Never Alone. Hey, love. It's, um... It's been a bit... Listen, I... I have to do something. Alright, you two. We're docking. Weapons ready, like last time. Right behind you two. Do we remember the plan? Yeah. Skips and I will head straight for the reactor. And I'll draw any of those creatures away. I'll head the same way I did last time. Pull them away from you. Fire off a few shots. That'll get them coming to me. At least a few. Okay. Brackett. Thank you. Thank you both as well. See you two on the other side. Alright. Come and get some fuckers. Okay, Skips, let's go. There isn't exactly an overload the reactor code, but there is one to disable the safety cap on it. Then we'll upload so many commands and data at once that it'll eventually just lose control and detonate. So, once again, I have the codes and you have the hacking. I suppose it was always going to be us. turned you into a hive that... Crawling around in your skin, man. Holy shit. Just... Let this happen. It's better like this. Did you get stabbed on something? 
and you hit your head. N no, 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 I'm not leaving you behind. Come on, just... <laughs> Lean on me. We're getting to that reactor. Together. I'm not leaving you, not when we're this close. Not ever. Just hang on. Just hang on, baby. It's gonna be okay. I can hear you bleeding out. Just hang on. It's gonna be okay, Skipper. It's gonna be okay. Okay. Good. Right. I just wanted to check. Stars, you are beautiful. Or, well, are, obviously. Y you know what I mean. The Dread Armada is just a little bit out. Am I ready? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm willing to try with you. Yeah. Same rules as last time, yeah? We're gonna stick together. N no heroics, no matter what, it's going to be me and you. All the way till the end. We should get dressed. You wanna go for another round of VR sparring? <laughs> Alright. After you, babe. You're awake? Oh, thank the stars. Look. We made it. This is the reactor room. I, I sealed the door behind us. We saw with the Sentinel Commander there's no way they're getting in. Not quickly, anyways. Yeah. I just patched your leg up. It looked like you were knocked against some shrapnel. I made sure nothing was inside before I covered it. No, I haven't heard from Brackett. I, I tried ringing him, but I got no response. He's either busy or... You know. Whatever happened, none of our sacrifices will be for nothing here. Come on, let's get you over here. We need to hack this thing so that we can overload it. L lean on me. Mmm. There. All right. Use your pad to hack into the ship systems and tell me when you're ready to enter the code that'll scramble this thing. Okay. Reactor safety bypass toggle. Authorization Omega zero nine. All right. Hit it. Then pop this thing full of commands to overload it. Done. All right. Come here, baby. It's all right. 
It's okay. Now let's let's just sit down here. Mm. I give it between ten to twenty minutes before it detonates. It takes a bit, but it's done. We did it. <laughs> I wish our ship could outrun it. We can thank Argus for this. You know, it's... It's been a hell of a ride. If they don't erect statues of us on every capital planet, I'm probably going to haunt the universe. You down to join me? <laughs> God. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Lean on me. You can lay down. Don't you worry, Skipper. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Not ever. I won't ever let you be alone here. It's alright, baby. Get some rest. I'll be there when you wake up. Bracket, what's up? I heard the reactors going off, but guys, I found Trailblazer's body. That's... good. No, listen, he's still dead. All of his essential data and memory banks, it's been fried. But he's curled up protecting something specifically. It was the FTL chip. Before the detonation, he must have just held onto it and made sure it didn't get destroyed. can get out. Yes, but only if you haul ass back to the ship. I iced a couple of those bastards on my way out. We should have a clear path. Oh, shit. Skipper, you up? Good, come on. I'm, I'm getting us the hell out of here even if I have to carry you. Alright. One more run. We got this. Are they okay? Yes, now go plug in the chip and get us the hell out of here. I'll lay them down somewhere. Alright, 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 I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> Almost there, Skips. Just hang on.
Hey, Brickett. You hanging in there? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to get back home. <sighs> to a partner that is probably ready to raise hell and then cry with me after. I, um, might have given them a message before we hit the system. Then everything happened. <laughs> Good. I'm sure they'll get it. Even if they have to let out their wrath for a bit. Yep. How about Skipper? Is their leg okay? Ask them yourself. Say hi, Skips. Skipper! <laughs> hey. Good to hear your leg's a bit better. Listen, I'm about to hit the refugee system. I have the director with me. I know you both aren't on the best terms, but I think some time down here will humble them. I think it's worth a chance. Maybe it is. We'll just have to see. That's up to them. Yeah, we'll... We'll figure something out for them. But... Thank you, Akir. I didn't think I'd be saving a galaxy with you. The same goes for you. I didn't even want to, but... Well, I'm not leaving you guys behind. Good to hear. Call me if you need anything. Will do. I'll cure out. No. All right. We've got six hours before we arrive to Maya. We can set ourselves up and figure out a job, and then get us a better ship now that we're stuck with this janky old shuttle instead of Argus's whole thing. It was too big for my taste anyway. I prefer a small one with a decent living space. And a kitchen that's more homely and less made to feed an army. But, while we're waiting... What could we possibly do to pass the time? <laughs> I suppose... <laughs> Is your leg even good enough to pounce on me like that? Gotta be more careful. You make a convincing point. <laughs> All right. Hey there, Maya. Well, I'll be damned. You two are actually standing next to each other. And smiling. We've been through... a lot. Sorry I couldn't complete the job you sent me out for. It's alright. I'm swamped in trying to regain the Council's confidence, but it's nothing I can't work my way back up toward. Speaking of which, now that the two of you seem buddy-buddy, I have a smuggling job involving getting a rare slug monster's eggs back to its mother. Sounds doable. And it's, uh, not quite buddy-buddy. It's, uh... It, it's, it's more local. Uh... Yeah. What they said. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I must have missed a lot. That and a co-worker I talked about you guys with owes me 200 credits. Wait, you were betting on us? I, I thought this was a professional business relationship. And business is booming. Congrats, though. If you want the job, I'll send it to your PDA. <laughs> Alright. I'll catch it and have it done within the next two weeks. Good. Please don't screw this one up, you two. Oh, uh, very funny. I never screw these things up. Skipper, no, don't tell him that. Mm-hmm. Stay in touch, lovebirds.
Amen. I know we never got to actually talk things out before you went on that mission. But it looks like you saved my skin twice. I don't know if there's an AI heaven out there somewhere, but wherever you might be, I hope you're doing okay. I figured I might as well pour one out for you. You earned that much. Humans have this silly saying. Something like, See you, space cowboy. Thought it fits you. So, yeah. Thank you. For everything you did. We miss you up here, big guy. Hey, Skips. Sorry, I was just uh, pouring one out. For him, for everyone who didn't make it. Mm, yeah, I could probably use a hug. <sighs> All right. I suppose we're stuck with this rickety old shuttle until we can buy a new one of our own. For now, we've got eggs to deliver. Think you're up for it? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Maybe we can do something else for some extra credits on the side. You know, we just saved the entire galaxy. And now we're back to working delivery jobs for some money. How about we do something a little more risky after this? Ease us back into things. Oh yeah. It's a stupid and risky job. That means it's right up our alley. <laughs> you like the sound of that? Then let's not waste any time. In the meantime, we've got all the freedom in the universe before us. It's just us now. No pirates, no bug monsters, just us. Let's get out there and make some memories. <laughs> I love you too. Let's ride. Thank you for listening. Starline was written by, edited, and recorded by myself for this channel. If you wish to see more and support me, do feel free to subscribe to the channel and check out the other content I've created. Also consider following me on Twitter and subscribing to my Patreon. I'd also like to give a special thanks to SaveDisc for creating the character art on the thumbnail, and a thanks to Ailswith Audio for providing her talent as Maya. Now, I will be reading out the names of my patrons. I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting me up to this point, and give a special thanks to the following patrons on the Diplomat and higher tier. Katori Rod, Len Girl, Lee, Kitty243, Little T, Sammy Samar, Alicia, Clarabelle Pagan, Tricky Bunnytail, Aleswith, Adler S, MG, Deborah Bosshard, Aeon Eternal, Silverhawk EG, Earl Grey Audios, Christopher Stevens, Dell, Emmy Wallace, Christy Hall, Ruby, Wendy Wayne, Ma, Elizabeth Williams, Only a Potato, Miss Effie, Zen, Patrice Gilton, Helios Flame, Kira White, Anna, K, Inspector Lemon, Mia Khan, 
Wisdom A. Denby Haskins, Angel, Hannah Lonseth, GD, Elmo, Honeybee, Cuddle Monster 22, Anna DLC, Zed Zero, Kurt Wilkes, Nix, CR92. Congrats to you all. You were there for the end. And thank you. Your patronage is extremely helpful and appreciated. I hope you all have a good night. And again, thanks for listening.